when it comes to sustainability and affordability, I mean, we, we shouldn't even think about the factor of sustainability anymore because it's it's one of the most pressing items we deal with today in architecture and many other um, fields. But sustainability also means resilience. And that is even more important in, when it comes to affordable housing because we have more and more of these situations where we have, I would call those severe occurrences all over the world where you know, buildings are left without out systems and if they are designed the wrong way, occupants have to leave the buildings, right? Which is really bad in an in a, in a emergency situation, for example. So um, sustainability is very equal to resilience, in my opinion. Um, now, when it comes to affordability, the reason why sustainability and resilience is so important is that usually it saves occupants money, and that money is urgently ne needed um, for, for example, if you look at single moms, right, uh, that have one, two, three kids that they uh, raise, um, if they save money, that money usually goes into the extra education of the children, which is important to get them on par with the rest of, of the society, right? So there's, these are basically very general items. When it comes to the importance of design with regard to um, affordable architecture, there's basically three fields, the general approach, there's the building, the site approach and the building approach. In general, if you have good design, you have a much higher acceptance rate. So, you know, especially when, when neighbors complaining about affordable housing in their neighborhoods, stuff like that, if you do good architecture, you can bet that the acceptance will be much, much higher. Um, sustainable buildings also come with a higher durability, less maintenance. Therefore, there's a maybe a little bit higher initial cost factor, but down the road, it's a much better return on investment for anybody that is involved. And then finally, as architects, especially we have, and, and maybe also urban planners, we have to think about less is more, which means how much space do we really need? I mean, we, we live in excessive times. This might change. If you look at the development of the footprint of the single family residence going from, what, like 1,200, 1,500 square foot 30 years ago to 2,500 today for the same amount of people, um, we can do better with less and actually have better functioning buildings. Um, when it comes to the to the site design of any project, um, but also or even more, most importantly on, on the affordability side, is that we consider the site context, the way we orient the building, for example, passive solar heat gain, maybe a better integration into the neighborhood environment, possibly thinking about mixed use, right? Very important consideration of climate, microclimate, not only what ASHRAE, what the, the code requires, because, because the code requires not a lot, but we have to go much further down the road, um, consideration of local resources, which all brings up, in the end, leads to better quality of life. And then finally, on the building side, um, we a sustainable building offers much healthier indoor environments. That's super important, especially for people in need who can't afford health insurance and those kind of things, maybe don't have the good food that other people can afford. Um, that includes, for example, again, going back to orientation on site, well daylit spaces, right? Well-oriented spaces, capturing views if possible, um, capturing as much passive energy as possible, which leads to lower cost again. And, and you know, $100 a month, $50 a month make a lot for these families. Um, with that comes certainly the right technology, reliable, very simple systems that kind of support the passive house approach. And then tapping into as much renewable energy as possible, which includes, for example, a winter solar heat gain, right? If you orient your building to the sun, you can use the winter sun to heat your house in a heating dominated climate. So those are basic rules I always follow. Um, and um, my practice has shown that we can do these affordable buildings at lower cost that actually do high performance.